American surfer and actor Tamayo Perry is most popular for showing his acting skills in movies such as Pirates of the Caribbean, On Stranger Tides, Hawaii 5-0, Blue Crush, and Charlie's Angel sequel. Perry passed away on 23rd June 2024. He died at the age of 49 after being attacked by a shark while surfing in Hawaii. American television executive Jamie Kellner was a founding president of Fox Broadcasting and founded the WB Network. During Kellner's seven years at Fox, he developed popular shows like The Simpsons, Married, With Children, Beverly Hills, 90210, Melrose Place, and In Living Color Kellner died on June 21, 2024. At the age of 77, after a long battle with cancer, American musician and songwriter Shifty Shellshock was best known for being a co-founder and frontman of the rap rock band Crazy Town. The band was famous for their hit single, Butterfly, which topped the Billboard Hot 100 chart in 2001. Shifty died on 24th of June 2024 at the age of 49. No cause of death has been revealed yet. Emmy winner, Canadian actor Donald Sutherland who's best known for his work on popular movies and TV shows such as M.A.S.H., Ordinary People, and The Hunger Games. Sutherland passed away on the 20th of June, 2024. In a career spanning almost half a century, Sutherland had nearly 200 credits to his name. His television career began in the 2000s when he appeared in shows like Dirty Sexy Money and Commander-in-Chief. Although he had an impressive career, Sutherland never received an Oscar nomination. In 2017, however, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Academy. Sutherland died of natural causes at the age of 88. No cause of death has been revealed yet. American television producer and director Russell Mirage is remembered for showing his production skills on popular TV shows such as This Old House, The French Chef, and The Victory Garden. Mirage died on the 20th of June, 2024. He played a key role in creating the 1979 TV series This Old House. His work has been recognized with numerous awards, including numerous Daytime Emmy Awards. Mirage died at the age of 88. No cause of death has been revealed yet. American actor Taylor Wiley is being remembered for showing his acting skills in movies and TV shows such as Hawaii 5 Forgetting Sarah Marshall, and Magnum P.I. Wiley passed away on the 20th of June, 2024. He appeared on 171 episodes of Hawaii 5 as Kamakona Tupuhula. He also reprised the role in the Magnum P.I. reboot. In 1990, he competed in sumo wrestling and even took part in the very first Ultimate Fighting Championship, or UFC bout. After that one fight, he never returned to MMA. Wiley died on the 20th of June, 2024 at the age of 56. The cause of his death is not yet known. He's survived by his wife, Halona, and their two children. American comic book writer Peter B. Gillis is best known for his work on popular comic books such as Strike Force, Moratori, Captain America, and Doctor Strange. Sadly, Peter B. Gillis passed away on June 20, 2024, at the age of 71. No cause of death has been revealed yet. American costume designer Anthea Silbert was a two-time Oscar-nominated costume designer who worked on Rosemary's Baby, Chinatown, Carnal Knowledge, Shampoo, and Julia. She received two Academy Award nominations for Best Costume Design, one for Chinatown and one for Julia. If we talk about Silbert's love life, she was married to actor Richard Romanus from 1985 until he died in 2023. Silbert died of natural causes at the age of 84. American Hall of Fame baseball player Willie Mays is widely regarded as one of the greatest all-around players the game has ever seen, most popular for playing alongside teams like San Francisco Giants and New York Mets. Willie passed away on the 18th of June, 2024. 
He won the World Series with the Giants in 1954 and was a 24-time All-Star during his career. In 1979, he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Willie died of heart failure at the age of 93. French actress Anouk Emmy is remembered for showing her acting skills in movies and TV shows such as La Dolce Vida, A Man and a Woman, and A Leap in the Dark. Emmy passed away on the 18th of June, 2024. She gained international recognition for her role in the romantic drama A Man and a Woman, which earned her a Golden Globe Award and a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. Throughout her career, Amy starred in 70 films. If we talk about Amy's love life, she also married composer Pierre Barreau, who wrote the theme song for A Man and a Woman. In total, she was married four times. Amy died of natural causes at the age of 92. American comedian and actor Haram Kasten gained popularity for his appearances on sitcoms such as Seinfeld and Saved by the Bell. Haram died on the 16th of June, 2024. He was best known for his supporting role as Michael, Elaine Benz co-worker on Seinfeld. Kasten also appeared on popular TV shows including Mad About You, Everybody Loves Raymond, Curb Your Enthusiasm, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Kasten died following a battle with prostate cancer at the age of 71. He is survived by his wife and daughter, Melissa Jade. American long-distance runner Bob Scholl won the gold medal in 1964 in the 5,000 meters at the Tokyo Summer Olympics. Scholl's career didn't end with his Olympic triumph. While running long distances, he set several American and NCAA records, including the 5,000 meters in 1964. Sadly, Bob Scholl passed away on June 16, 2024, at the age of 86. No cause of death has been revealed yet. American actress Evans Evans, who's popular for showing her acting skills in movies and TV shows such as Bonnie and Clyde, The Iceman Cometh, and Dead Bang. Evans passed away on the 16th of June, 2024. She also appeared in several television projects, including the 1961 Twilight episode, Gunsmoke episode, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, and I Saw the Whole Thing. Evans died of natural causes at the age of 91. American Hall of Fame basketball player, coach, and executive Jerry West is widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players in NBA history, who led the Los Angeles Lakers to the NBA Finals nine times, winning one title. West passed away on the 12th of June, 2024. In his career, West was the third player to score 25,000 points and was an all-star every year. After retiring in 1974, West transitioned into coaching, leading the Lakers for three seasons. However, as an executive, he found his true calling. He served as the general manager of the Lakers from 1982 to 2000, building championship teams around Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kobe Bryant. During his tenure, the Lakers won six NBA championships. Jerry died at the age of 86. No cause of death has been revealed yet. Spanish actor Fermi Rezac is remembered for his notable film credits, including Los Dias del Pasado, Lagrima de Song, and Luz de Domingo. Fermi passed away on the 12th of June, 2024. He died at the age of 77. No cause of death has been revealed yet. American actor Tony Mardente is well known for his roles in several Broadway productions, including West Side Story. Tony also showed his acting skills in directing his popular episodes of popular TV series such as Dynasty, Falcon Crest, and Murder, She Wrote. Tony passed away on the 11th of June, 2024. He died of natural causes at the age of 88. American actor Tony Lobianco 
is known for his intense and charismatic performances and is best known for showing his acting skills in movies such as The Honeymoon Killers, The French Connection, and The Seven Ups. Tony died on the 11th of June, 2024. He received a Tony nomination for his role as Eddie Carbone in a revival of Arthur Miller's A View from the Bridge. He also guest starred on numerous shows like Police Story, Law and & Order, and Homicide Life on the Street. Tony died of prostate cancer at the age of 87. French singer-songwriter Francois Hardy is considered a true icon in France and internationally most popular for her hit songs such as All Over the World, All the Boys and Girls, and Time for Love. Hardy passed away on the 11th of June, 2024. She also showed her acting skills in movies and TV shows, most popular for her appearance in the American sports drama film Grand Prix. She was also a style icon known for her distinctive look and influence on fashion during the 1960s and beyond. Hardy died of laryngeal cancer at the age of 80. American baseball player Mike Brumley who played alongside teams like the Detroit Tigers and Boston Red Sox and also worked as a coach for Seattle Mariners. Brumley passed away on the 15th of June, 2024. He played eight seasons before becoming a coach. Following in the footsteps of his father, he was a second-generation MLB player. His father, also named Mike Brumley, played two seasons for the Washington Senators. Brumley was killed in a multi-car crash in Hines County at the age of 61. Canadian film and television director Eric Canoule is remembered for showing his acting skills in movies and TV shows such as Bond Cop, Bad Cop, Red Nose, and Hemingway, A Portrait. Canoule passed away on the 15th of June, 2024. He gained recognition for his work on the French-language television series Urgence. In television, he directed episodes of popular Canadian series such as La Femme Nikita and Largo Winch. He died of plasma cell leukemia at the age of 63. American basketball player Greg Brown is best known for playing college basketball at the University of New Mexico from 1990 to 1993. Brown was the 1993-1994 WAC Player of the Year. In 2008, Brown was inducted into the New Mexico Sports Hall of Fame. Brown died on the 14th of June, 2024. He died in a traffic collision at the age of 51. American screenwriter and producer Jonathan Axelrod is remembered for his work on popular movies and TV shows such as Every Little Crook and Nanny and Dave's World. He died on June 13, 2024, aged 74. American radio executive and journalist Jeremy Tepper known for his significant contributions to the country music industry, was best known for his work with Sirius XM, Vending Times, and Pulse. He was also co-founder of Diesel Only Records. Tepper died of a heart attack at the age of 60. American journalist and television commentator Howard Feynman, known for his insightful political analysis and commentary, his diverse career has included coverage of American politics and current events across a variety of prominent media outlets, such as MSNBC, NBC News, and Newsweek. Feynman passed away on the 11th of June, 2024. He died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 75. American football player Tony Hunter is best known for his playing alongside teams like Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams. Hunter was selected by the Buffalo Bills in the first round of the 1983 NFL Draft. In his four-year NFL career, he split time between the Los Angeles Rams and the Buffalo Bills. His final season in 1986 was cut short due to a career-ending leg injury. Hunter died on the 11th of June, 2024. He died at the age of 64. 
No cause of death has been revealed yet. American author Ruth Stiles Gannett is best recognized for her classic series of books featuring the character My Father's Dragon. About 7.8 million copies were sold of this series when it was published in the mid-1960s. It follows the adventures of a young boy on a quest to rescue a baby dragon on a wild island. Ruth died on the 11th of June, 2024. She wrote another children's book throughout her career, including Miss Hickory and My Mother is the Most Beautiful Woman in the World. She died of natural causes at the age of 100. Cuban actress Isabel Marino is best known for showing her acting skills in movies and TV shows such as Lucia, A Successful Man, and The Beauty of the Alhambra. Isabel passed away on the 9th of June, 2024. With a career spanning over 60 years, Isabel is best remembered for her role in the film La Belle del Alhambra. She was married to actor Gaspar Gonzalez since the 1970s. They had two daughters and a son. Isabel died of natural causes at the age of 82. American football player Brad Dusick, who's best known as a football linebacker for the Washington Redskins of the National Football League. He played college football for the Texas A&M Aggies. He was inducted into the Texas A&M Athletic Hall of Fame in 2014. Dusek passed away on the 10th of June, 2024. He died of complications from amotropic lateral sclerosis at the age of 73.